It is no surprise that college-age students go out on the weekends, drink amplitudes of alcohol, and make decisions they would never admit soberly. This has been the college tradition for many years past, but has the social media generation put a concerning light to this crazy college culture? A Twitter page is now trending for the Georgia College community called Blackout Bobcat. The creator of the page is completely anonymous, but the content is public for all to see. Pictures of drunken students holding drinks, dancing on tables, being arrested, and even throwing up in toilets are blasted out from the account with comments narrating the activities taking place. GC360 News wanted to show you the pictures that were uploaded on this street right behind me, but we couldn't because of the legalities involved. Pate McMichael is a media law professor at Georgia College. I spoke with him to learn about the consequences that Blackout Bobcat could face. Well, the real question is, is what can happen to a student who maybe contributes to uh, Blackout Bobcat. Um, some of the very interesting things about the photos that are being posted is that some of them appear to be invasions of privacy because some of these images are shot uh, in the homes of some of the, the people who are being portrayed uh, in these you know, states of uh, uh, drunkenness, usually. And anytime you're, you're shooting without permission in someone's own home, it's generally considered a major uh, invasion of privacy, known as intrusion. Uh, also, any images of people in a bathroom, regardless of their state of drunkenness, um, is pretty much well decided legally as being inappropriate. So, I mean, if you own a business, you can't record customers in the bathroom, you shouldn't be obviously allowed to even take pictures of folks who maybe have had too much to drink and decided to pass out in a bathroom. One student even went as far as creating another anonymous account to tell Blackout Bobcat to stop posting. The anonymous person went by Richard Bob and asked Blackout Bobcat to take down the picture that was sent in of them. Blackout Bobcat replied by saying, wow, he really wants that picture down. Even made a Twitter for it? You can't even tell who it is. After a recent story was published about Blackout Bobcat, the Twitter page has more followers than ever before. Parents, faculty, and teachers are very concerned with the situation. Will Blackout Bobcat buckle down? I decided to go downtown and catch up with some of the students about their opinion of Blackout Bobcat. My opinion about it is like, hey, if college students want to be college students, why would you throw them under the bus? Like, why is it such a big deal on the social network that you've got to throw them under the bus and just make a big deal about it. Like. On Tuesday, Blackout Bobcat tweeted to its followers that they are willing to take down any pictures upon request. The question that remains is, who is Blackout Bobcat? Will their reign of terror on inebriated students ever be compensated for? We'll have to wait and see. But until then, patrons of downtown nightlife have been warned. Reporting for GC360, I'm Megan Rochester.